Hi friends, today we'll be reading Teach Your Dragon About Diversity. Hello, my name is Drew and just wait till you hear this. I have a dragon for a pet and you don't want to miss the chance to hear a story of my dragon, Diggory Do, and the lesson that he learned that we want to share with you. Diggory needed training when he came to live with me because he was kind of naughty, as dragons tend to be. Then, when Diggory Dew was trained, he decided he should go to school like all the other kids and learn stuff he should know. When Diggory Dew arrived at school, the children were excited. They welcomed him as their new friend, and Diggory was delighted. He flapped his wings and swished his tail, and all the children said, Wow! Look at our new classmate with his scales of red. But when Diggory Duke got home from school, he was very sad. I'm not like the other kids, and that makes me feel bad. I'm the only one with wings and covered all in scales. And in case you didn't notice, no other kids have tails. Diggory Do, I told him. Yes, you're different. This is true. But don't be disappointed that there's no one else like you. Besides, just take a look around. I think you will agree. You're not alone in being different. Have a look and see. For instance, did you notice that some kids at school are tall, while other kids are not so big and some are rather small? And though you are the only one with scales of ruby red, folks come in other colors too. And that's when Diggory said, Oh, now I think I get it, as he turned his frown around. My new friends Tony and Tyrone are different shades of brown. But Laura's skin is like a peach, with cheeks all rosy pink. Put us all together, we're like a crayon box, I think. Amber's hair is long and blonde, while Anne's is shiny black. Carla's curly hair of brown tumbles down her back. Some have hair of pumpkin orange like Patty, Sue, and Paul. Diggory rubbed his head and said, I have no hair at all. And we all like something different when it comes to stuff to munch. Pink eats rice with chopsticks. Juan has tortillas for his lunch. Charles and Fred like chicken, especially when it's fried. Diggory said, I like a sandwich with ham and cheese inside. And when it comes to our beliefs, those are different too. Abdul says his daily prayers as many faiths must do. Tivia goes to synagogue. Maria goes to mass. On Sunday morning, Billy Ray goes to Bible class. Some kids play with baby dolls. Others play with blocks. Theo throws the toys out and plays inside the box. Some kids wear their blue jeans, but Katie wears a dress. Dalton likes to dig in mud. His clothes are just a mess. Some kids use their mouth to sing. Some use theirs to whine. Diggory Do declared, I can start a fire with mine. We kept on naming differences. It was kind of like a game to figure out the many ways that folks are not the same. Diggory Do and I discussed that fat, thin, short, or tall, whatever size and shape you are, it matters not at all. And we should never fret about the color of our skin, just as long as we have something to hold our insides in. My skin is red. Red is awesome and you are wonderful. Our hair is just an ornament that sits atop our head and we can eat the foods we like as long as we get fed. And when it comes to our beliefs and different points of view, we agree to be respectful. It's the proper thing to do. It's not the toys you play with or the clothing that you wear that determines who you are. We shouldn't even care about what's on the outside for it's what's inside the heart that makes each individual a precious work of art. Diversity is what it's called whenever we embrace that everyone's a special part that makes the human race. Diggory learned his lesson well. His heart is filled with glee. 
I have a lot of friends, he says, due to diversity.